please subscribe. All right, welcome viewers once again to TT Labs. Just in case you join us for the first time, kindly hit the subscribe button and give us a like, all right? And um, if you watch this video and it's um, helpful to you, kindly share with your friends, okay? When you do these things, they encourage us to do more of this amazing work. All right, now, just in case you have a multimeter like this or just any other multimeter, and you're wondering how to make use of them to test for electrical currents. Now, in this video, I'm going to take your hands and show you how to do that, all right? So if you're not very busy, sit back, relax, and of course, pick a multimeter and join me. Let's do this together, shall we? All right, welcome back. Um, this is These are two different multimeters. I'll be using them to um, explain what I want to show you very quickly, all right? Now, um, if you need to know how to measure other things with your multimeter, you can refer to the link in the description below. You see a, you know, I did a detailed video on how to, you know, use your multimeters generally. Because I've done this before, and um, a lot of people asked me to, you know, redo the uh, current measurement part. So I'm, I decided to make this video to, you know, show you exactly how you can make use of these to measure current. And um, apart from that, in the in that video, I had my multimeter current measurement was faulty. Okay, so I couldn't use it to measure current in that video. This was the meter I used to measure current in that video. But then um, I fixed it now and um, I'll be using two of them to measure current. Okay, now um, if you're to measure current, the first thing you do is you check for these labels. There are different labels. All right. Now, if you see this is labeled 20 amps, it means I can measure current from here. Then this one is labeled milliamps or microamps. If I want to measure little current, okay, you know, minute current, I can now put, I can switch my probe to that place. But on this side, you find out that you just have V, um, voltage, resistance, um, diode test, capacitor test, um, continuity test, frequency, and life, all right? Now, but it's current I want to measure. What I'll do is I'm going to take this probe and switch it to this now why am i putting it here because what i want to measure i suspect that it's going to be you know within the 20 amps range okay now for this one too i will take this probe i'll take out this probe this is quite strong okay no no i'll leave common is common to everything so i'll leave that one i'll take out this one and switch it to this you see it's labeled 10 amps dc okay now, uh, another thing you should take note of is what we're measuring here is direct current, direct current, okay? Not alternating current, all right? Now, um, very quickly, I'm going to just show you how to make use of this to measure. Now, the, like I said, the first thing you do is you switch these probes. You, sw you must switch your probes first. Then the next thing you do is to switch your position to current measurement for this meter, you can see that this side is for current. And if you look beside it, you see the direct current symbol, okay? Now, for this one, you see that, you see, that there is a direct current symbol beside it. Now, for this one, you can also use it to measure alternating current, but we're not going to be measuring alter alternating current in this video, okay? What we'll be measuring is direct current, but any process we we'll go through for this one, you can also use it to measure alternating current, but make sure that you have switched it to the right positions, okay? Now, back to what I was talking about. You will now switch this to this. Switch this to, you know, this is 10, 10 amps, all right? Then this one, I'm going to switch it to 20, all right? Now, my meters are ready to measure what I want to measure. So the next thing is this. These are my, um, these, these are, terminals from my battery power supply okay so across these terminals i have 12 volts okay now look at this if i connect i think this is the negative terminal if i connect this to this and this to this it lights up all right now this one is a light emitting diode okay and um, this one is an incandescent bulb okay it doesn't really have polarity LEDs have polarities. That was why I was careful to put my negative at negative and positive at positive. If I reverse this, it won't work. It won't light up. It won't light up. But if I put it in the right polarity, it will work. 
it's not the same with incandescent. For incandescent, you can just connect anyhow you like it. It will light up. If I swap it, it will still light up. That's because this is just basically a piece of wire across this. This, we expect this. We expect this to draw more current. But um, let's quickly um, measure current. The current this will be drawing and the, mesh, the current this one will be drawing. Now, um, very quickly, it is said in electronics that you measure voltage across and then current through. If you have this at the back of your mind, it helps you a lot in your journey in electronics. So you measure voltage across and then current through. You measure voltage across and current through. Okay. Now, um, let's start with this one. If I'm to measure current, you should understand this, that um, this is my voltage source. Let me say this is positive and this is negative, All right? And this is what I want to power, maybe my, my lamp, um, one of the probes and the other terminal, okay? Now, I'll, I'll connect this to this, right? And then this to this. Once this connects with this, this lamp will glow, right? Now, um, if I'm to measure current, what I would do is I won't connect this to this. What will happen is that it is my meter probes, my meter probes that will now complete this circuit. Okay? That's how you measure current. Now, like I said, you measure voltage across. So if I want to measure voltage, I'll measure for voltage across this and then if I want to measure current, I'll measure the current through. You measure voltage across and what? Current through. Okay? Voltage across, current through. Voltage across, current through. All right. Now, um, this is my voltage source. So I'm going to connect one of them to this. Remember, it's incandescent. So you don't really need to look for the polarity to work whichever way I turn it. Now, instead of putting this, if I put this with this, connect this with this, it lights up, right? But instead of doing that, I would now use my meter probes to complete this circuit. Okay? You see how simple it is? I'll put this here and put this here. It lights up, right? And this tells us that this incandescent lamp is drawing 1.58 amps all right Let, let's do the same thing with the other meter this other meter and see i want to complete the circuit with the probes it's drawing 1.5 just like we measured for the other one but if you notice you are seeing a minus sign by the side of the screen there that shouldn't bother you that's because um i i should swap it's telling me that i should swap the probes so if i swap the probes the minus sign disappears, but then it still gives you the same current measurement. So quickly, let's just um, measure the current our LED will draw. Mm, this is negative. And once again, if I put this here, it lights up, all right? But this time, because I want to measure the current through this circuit, I would complete it with this. Wow, this is drawing just 0.5 amps. You see that? You see that that's the major reason why we use LEDs these days because it gives you, you know, very good illumination and then draws minute current. See how bright that is and it's just drawing 0 0.5, 0 0.5 amps, 0 0.5 amps. And then let's, let's see with the other meter what we would get with that 0 0.5. And remember, like I said, the minus sign is just because we need to swap the probes. That gives me 0 0.56, okay? So that's how you measure direct current using your multimeters. I hope you learned something. And just in case you have any confusions, please make sure you comment. And if you like the video, kindly click like and let me know in the comment section. These things encourage me to continue to do this great work. I would like to hear from you. Thank you so very much and see you some other time.